2020 turnaround. You guys all know who I am. Look at this lovely garden shot. <laughs> You guys know who all these people are. You guys have seen this slide a million times. You know all that. I'm gonna remind you though, this is a distraction-free zone. So get ready to work. All right, so here's the invitation. You're invited. You are personally invited to slay Q3 and Q4, who's in. I wanna know what your goals are. Let's just stop this share. Debbie says, I'm in. Hi, Risa, 2020, so much growth. Count me in. All right, hi, Sandy. I'm in for all the slang. Hi, Linda. Okay, good. Y'all in? Good. Switching up my business model. A little nervous, but excited. Ooh, I'm so excited about this, Susie. Jill wants to get bear certified and get paying clients. Awesome, Jill. By the way, Jill, thank you for posting that today. What is today, Jill? Today is like self-indulgence day. What is today? Q3 launch coming up with the help of the agency. I'm going to slide. Splurge day. That's right. Today is splurge day, in case y'all didn't know. International splurge day or national splurge day. I just made it international. <laughs> All right, oops, I'm showing you Stacy Highland's branding. Oh my God, you guys, I am a mess today. Did you know that I'm such a mess? All right, I love y'all. Okay, if, here's my question. All right, all y'all who are in, if you were gonna burn everything down, and I'm not saying burn it down. I'm just saying if you were going to and start your company over, what would you do? I went through these questions with my mastermind last week and they were very powerful for me to go through as well. If you were gonna burn everything down and start your company over, what would you do? And then the next question is, I want to know what was the most profitable and joyful together year you ever had? What was happening then that maybe isn't happening now? And right now might be it. You might be like, I'm the happiest and most profitable I have ever been, Susan Hyatt. Suck it. What about it? Um, Stacy, okay, what are you gonna burn down? I would burn my day job. Sandy says, be all in like no shit. Sandy, you better not be hesitating. Kristen says, I have burned it all down and I'm recreating now. Simpler, more focused, and be the boss. Ann says, I'd be 100% in from the start. Um, focus on the calendar that I wanted on purpose. Uh, Stacy says, yes, but doesn't my branding book look awesome? Yes, the agency did a fantastic job. Um, oh, right. Sandy says, I said, fuck the experts, had more fun, made more money. Linda says, what is happening in my yard? Cora Hyatt is out there watering her garden. All right, Lynn says, me too. I felt like I burned it down last year and it feels amazing. 2018 was my best year. Okay. Elena says, I'd be audacious and all in, no hiding or playing small. Parvati says, burning too many offers. Sandy says, I accidentally burned it down last year. Jill says, 100% focus on my business, screw my corporate job. Okay. All right. I think it's important to think about like, hey, let's just pretend we're going to clear it all. What would you keep? What would you burn down? And sometimes it's helpful to think about like, what was my best year? Like I was joking that um, it, 2016, Susan, that was the year I did like, I don't know, five international retreats. And when those Facebook memories pop up, I'm like, who is this happy bitch? Oh, right, that's me. <laughs> 
and I can't do anything about no travel right now, but it's good to know, like, when were things like really clicking and what was it about that time? Um, right. Debbie says, I'm just starting. So there's nothing to burn down. All right. Caitlin says, my brand is on point, but I know I still have to burn down some of my old working habits I brought with me from my corporate job. Yep. Right. So those of you who are just starting, this is perfect. Like if you're just starting, you probably burnt some old stuff down so that you could start. So welcome, welcome, welcome. All right. Let's see if I can. Here we go. Look at me. Look at me. All right. Um, I'm so for those of you who haven't sold anything yet, sit this one out. But those of you who have sold things, out of everything you've tried, what led to the most sales? What do you think? And even if you don't want to do that anymore, it's just important to notice that. Um, Dr. Anna Garrett says one-on-one -on -one work. Tammy says, yay, you made it, Tammy. Uh, Susie says, my best year was 2013 when I got laid off from a 19-year job. The world of possibility opened up. So Susie, this is what we've got to tap into is that feeling that you had when it's like this whole world of possibility. That's Q3 and Q4, that energy. Like this, we've had to rethink a lot of things, right? And so it's like the whole world is opening up. I want everybody to stop thinking of it like, oh, we're so constricted. I know it feels like that. And I have felt like that because I can't just hop on a plane and do what the hell I want. <laughs> in any country I want, but we have to look at things a little differently. And there is so much possibility right now. Elena says my virtual retreat and virtual group program this year are tied to my, for my biggest sales. Yes. Um, hi, Jackie Murray. Yes, you're a newbie. I love you. Um, Susie says, yikes, I have some work to do. This is what, we, this is the work. This is the mindset work to do. Mm. Michelle says, my day in-person workshops bring the most money. I combine all my modalities and it's well received. Okay. Live event in 2018 was Kellyanne Schaefer's. Um, Brenda says, I've had about the same response to each thing I've done and I've done a lot, but I've not always had four, but I've always had four or five people sign up. Not enough. Okay. All right. By the way, I want to make sure that when you're typing, you've chosen all panelists and attendees so everybody can see what you're writing, unless you want it to come to just me. Susie says, I've started to feel a mind shift. Okay. All right. So it's good to know. Like, so for me, I don't necessarily want to do all those international retreats, um, but the quality, like similar to Susie saying like this whole world of possibility had opened up for her in 2013. For me, it was like this feeling of freedom and new adventure and, um, learning and seeing different new and different things. And so it's really the energy of what was happening then. And sometimes it's like, okay. I really enjoyed doing that thing. Why'd I stop doing it? You know, maybe you got some advice that you needed to be doing something different and in a different way. And it's time to bring back something that made you really happy. Brenda says, I was in the best mindset three years ago in Paris. I felt so free and so authentic, like anything was possible. That was the energy of it. Yeah, I loved that trip. Other than the con artist that was present, Brenda. <laughs> You guys, I had, when people want to talk about retreat stories, have I got retreat stories, but I won't waste your time today with that one. Like a, like, I'm not just being ugly. I mean, like a legitimate con artist. Um, such an interesting story. It was, I know. Okay. Uh, Risa says the freedom energy fuels me. Freedom for sure. Okay. All right. Now. Okay, so I think everybody here has heard me talk about my Delta cocktail napkin business plan story. When I went through training in 2007, when I was flying home from Arizona from a meetup with Martha Beck, um, I basically on the back of my Delta napkin wrote five things. And honest to God, that was my business plan. 
And I'm not saying that you can't have more elaborate plans than that, but I'm saying that sometimes it's great to, to keep it really simple and to focus on certain things that you could fit on the back of a Delta napkin. And yes, I'm saying Delta because they're my favorite. You may have your own favorite airline, but out of Evansville, Indiana, we have two choices. <laughs> Delta's my favorite. So if you were gonna write a new 2020 version of your simple, like top five things on the back of a cocktail napkin, what would you write? I'm gonna give you a minute to think about it, but if you focus on fitting it on the back of a Delta napkin, right? There's no space for all your copy that doesn't make any sense on the back of a Delta napkin. It's just like, boom, boom, boom. Like whatever it is, virtual events, membership program, one-on-one -on -one offer, whatever it is. What would you put? I wanna see. Delta is the best. So Delta napkin, what you got? So for us, so for me and my company, um, I really was thinking about streamlining. And it's interesting because I have this whole other side of my company now. I have a mark, a full-blown marketing agency, um, which by the way, if you want to catch a glimpse of what we do, like start pay attention all this next week <laughs> because of GoTime TV and um, On the Six membership or on the six mastermind opens up for enrollment which you're going to hear about a little later all the stuff that they're turning out and promotion is such a great example of what we're capable of um nancy says mine is so small it fit on a post-it note perfect susie says membership with juicy vip level Ooh, i love that kimberly says virtual events boss bitch mastermind by the way, every time I listen to the, I put it on the Summer of Yes playlist, Kimberly, but there's a song by, um, it's called Boss Bitch. God, who sings that? I think of you. Um, Kellyanne, group programs, small retreats, membership, live events. Okay, this is all looking great. Samantha says, get bear certified. Yes, boo. Bold trainings locally. Yes. Convert women and girls to one-on-one -on -one clients. Absolutely. Get back to teaching yoga meditation. Awesome. Doja Cat sings that song. Okay. I'm going to send it to you. I'm going to send it to you. Created Life Retreat to start in Mexico. Awesome. Lynn says self-care membership. Fabulous. Kristen says one-on-one -on -one coaching two programs, networking with local women. Kristen, I'm so glad to have you back around. Um, Jill says paid Facebook membership group, online coaching, one-on-one -on -one clients. Anna says, Anna says savvy sister membership. Okay, awesome. Awesome, right? All right. This is what we're focusing on Q3, Q4. Laurie, hi, Laurie Swanson, digital course, membership site, podcast TV, job board for companies committed to hiring women in tech. Awesome. Keep it on the back of that nap. Oh, hi, LaTondra. Uprising, summer strength circles for groups, genius school. Okay. Mm. Stacy Highland, podcast relaunch, add a zero coaching program. How sexy is that? Hi, Cheryl. Launch my leadership coaching business, at least 10 one-on-one -on -one clients before the end of the year. So that is a great specific goal, Cheryl. I love it. And absolutely, you can get 10 clients before the end of the year. Um, all right. Let's go back. Let's go back to the slides. Okay. So everything that you guys wrote, and I hope that you will listen or watch this replay again so that you can like really think about the answers to these questions right if you were starting all over what would you burn down like burn it all down what would survive um and then 
you know, what are the things that would fit on the back of this Delta napkin? Here's the thing that I love. Um, I love thinking about future self. I'm always talking about how like, you know, your future self is at the end of this whatever imaginary finish line you've got. When you think about making it or doing it or any feeling state you want, any amount of money, like your future self is already there waiting for you. Like she's popped the bubbly, she's got on sequins and she's like, come on, come on. Um, but she has requirements. She has requirements. And here's what I mean by that. Um, we need an AWOL nation, burn it down. Yes, 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 Mallory. Um, future self is celebrating movie script. Awesome. What is your, everybody type what your future self is celebrating. What's your future self celebrating? My future self is like, finally published that bold book, good. Finally got that TV show launched, good. Um, what's your future self celebrating? And then I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna do another screen share, but I'm going to, whoops, whoops. How do I get out of, I do this to myself all the time. Here we go. All right, you're gonna get this while you're typing your answers of what your future self is celebrating. I really want you to think about it. Like it's you in the future feeling so what? Like she's feeling so freaking proud. She's like, mm hmm, look at me. Look at how cute she is fumbling around with this stuff, but she's gonna do it. Um, how do you feel? How's your future self feel? What she most want you to know? Now, with today's recording, you're gonna get this future self requirements journal that we put together. And, um, I came up with this idea. You guys can't go five minutes without me making a Peloton reference. Actually, we've gone, what, 25 minutes <laughs> without one. But Robin Arzon, who is my favorite, one of my favorites, she's tied with Cody Rigsby, um, one of my favorite Peloton instructors. She's actually also the, the vice president of Peloton. Um, I was on a ride with her and she talked about like your future self has requirements. And I was like, oh, I was just flooded with inspiration by that because we, I talk about future self all the time, but thinking of it that way, like that woman, that CEO, she has some requirements of you today. So whatever it is that you wrote on the back of that cocktail napkin, Whatever it is that you're typing in the chat that your future self is celebrating, she also have, has requirements of you in order to accomplish that. And I'm going to give you this journal so that throughout Q3 and Q4, you can really be connecting with that. Um, so I'm not going to go through the whole journal right now. I would love to know what you what pops into your mind when I say, that bitch, <laughs> she has standards and she has requirements. What are they? Before I go through this, I would love to hear your chatting. Elena says, my future self is exuberant and radiant, standing in a circle of women at sunrise on a retreat. She's celebrating her voice. She's dancing at the fact that she just contributed 50K to her daughter's college fund from her income. I tell you what, Anna Mika, who's my COO, our mantra for a couple years was cash for college. Um, and we're very proud that that is a reality. Um, Cheryl says she's celebrating making money on her own terms. She's proud to be her own boss. She's fully taking care of herself. Okay. Janelle says showing up correct. Nailed the exceptional care of myself. Awesome. Okay. Did I freeze? Michelle says I froze. I'm looking at my Wi-Fi indicator. Oh, I did. Okay. All right. Okay, but I'm back. I don't know what you missed, but I was talking about your future self has requirements. What are they? 
What are they? Did you see the part where I was showing you the journal? Okay, for some of you, I froze from some of you. I didn't, all right. Okay, all right, you saw the journal. All right. Here's what, I think sometimes when I flip to screen share, it does something. So the requirements that I came up with, I'm gonna have you work on. And they're things like sleep, morning routine, high quality thoughts, your squad, your personal squad and your business squad, and your domestic squad and your money squad. Um, also fun, self-care, any skills that you need to develop, right? So, so for example, if I want to have GoTime TV, my team has to learn, like we don't know shit about YouTube, <laughs> right? I mean, we know the basics, but we've got to learn. Like how do you scale a show on YouTube? Got to learn that. Um, also your future self, there's a dress code for your future life. What is it? We cover in this boundaries and pleasure and media, nutrition, exercise and movement, investments, because she's a wealthy hoe, systems, vacation, evening routine. What else? All right. So you get, oh, look, I'm wearing the same thing. You get all this in this beautiful journal that we're sending you as a lovely gift for being here today. Um, domestic squad, yes. Cultivating more creativity, more fun. Thank you, Debbie. Um, Jackie says, my future self requirements, treat my body like a business and full on and be full on awesome, make money and friends every day, make a damn difference in the world. Awesome. It is such a great worksheet. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> she is a wealthy hoe. <laughs> right. So when you get the email that has the um, replay in it, that is the email that will have. Uh, the future self requirements journal. So let me go back to my slides. All right, so let's talk about what we're noticing that's working now. Um, just to go back for a second. Um, I know many of you showed up to hear me talk about this part, like what are some tips and, and all that. Um, but honestly, None of the things that I'm going to tell you that we are noticing is working right now is going to work for you unless you do that other stuff. I promise. So unless, unless you're willing to answer those questions and really sit with them um, and answer for yourself, you know, when was I the most joyful? What was happening? When was I the most profitable? What was happening? Um, because I can tell you that, um, you can put amazing strategy together, but if it's not fueled by self-care, it's not going to be sustainable. So that's your little preachy moment of today. Oh, thank you, Jackie. Laurie says, my future self-requirements are that I be brave and take risks keep my self-care a priority. Remember that I'm love beyond measure, have fun, build my support squad. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right. So what's working right now? What do you guys think is working right now? What do you look at and say like, wow, that worked for her? From the outside, looking in and observing other people's success, what do, you, what do you notice? What do you think is working? And is there anything in your own business that you're like, wow, that really worked? Pretty proud of that. I have opinions. Virtual events are working. Yes, I agree. I was gonna mention virtual events. Linda, don't miss the rest of the replay. 
uh, slowing down, real focus. Kellyanne Schaefer, so proud of your last launch in April. A lot of work, but did all the things. That's right. So Kellyanne purchased In Demand, which if you're a member of one of my masterminds, you already have access to. And she did all the stuff and had the biggest launch she's ever had. We're really proud of you. Sandy says, virtual events, live streams, Facebook groups, more personal sharing in my groups. The more I share, the more they engage. Yes keep putting one step in front of the other. Y'all make sure that you are, um, change when you're commenting to all panelists and attendees, because if it just says all panelists, the only person that sees it is me, which is fine if you only want me to see it. Um, Kristen says, as much as I love to work on the back deck in the yard at the coffee shop, I feel like right now I need to be sitting my ass at this desk to establish the structure and boundaries I need as I build. Yes. Mm -hmm. So um, what's working right now? So I will just touch on what you just said in that I did, a, I did a, a little free call with my On The Sixers yesterday where they could submit questions and I would just answer anything. And there was a lot of questions about how I did things in the beginning and like, you know, if I were starting all over, what would I do? And um, the thing that's working now that has always worked is structure. And I know many of you don't want to hear that. You want me to say, um, because as coaches, we say so many things like, oh, just follow your feel good and be in the flow and all those things. But yeah, follow your feel good and make sure that you're showing up consistently in a sustainable way so that you can help as many people as possible. So having consistent bit, right? Freedom doesn't mean no structure. Erica nailed it. Um, so having established consistent business hours from day one, from day one, you guys. So please make sure like any of these little things that we're all talking about that are working right now, make sure that in order for you to get those things into place, like Kristen said, you got to get your ass in the seat. Now I can work from my patio. Yes. But, and I do sometimes, but to really focus, um, ass in the seat, make sure you have a space that's yours as soon as you can. Um, and show up consistently for those business hours. Now, I'm not saying you have to recreate some corporate setting, and this is not a hustle recommendation. Um, I'm out to disrupt diet culture and hustle culture. And it, it, but that disrupting hustle culture doesn't mean you're not working. It means you're not overworking. And so you want to be showing up consistently for what you're doing. Now, Sandy mentioned something that works really well inside her Facebook groups is showing up authentically and vulnerably. And that is something that has always worked for me and increasingly works for me, especially right now. So if there's part of you that's holding back what you think, um, holding back who you really are, any of that stuff, that's going to affect your bottom line. It does, Sandy. It feels vulnerable, but it works. So I'm not saying, right, everybody has a different level of tolerance for sharing their personal lives. There is so much I don't share, even though people say to me all the time, like, oh my God, every moment of your life is on social media. That's actually so untrue. <laughs> so untrue. But I'm showing up enough um, and sharing authentically who I am. Um, my friend Melissa Casera calls it your swirl. Um, so if you don't know Melissa Casera, I had her guest teach for my mastermind virtual retreat. And um, she used to run a very successful online PR firm. And now she's a screenwriter in Hollywood. And when she's teaching how to have a brand people are obsessed with, she talks about it being your swirl, meaning um, I talk about it, something I nabbed from Laura Belgray, um, having like a company coat of arms where we stand for certain things. So it's like your company values, but also things that are very specific to your personality and very specific 
to how you roll in the world. And so, you know, my swirl right now would be like 80s fashion, my freaking backyard, my pets, the Silver Fox, the Hyatt Riot, collectively my family, um, social justice issues has always been part of my swirl. Um, uh, smashing the patriarchy, smashing oppression, you know, those are all things that are part of my swirl. And when I show up and talk about those things, people respond because the energy behind it is one of connection, um, right? Your personal brand. So, so what's always working, all right? Cons consistently showing up for your business and having consistent business hours. Um, identifying and celebrating your swirl. So showing up and connecting and talking with people. And we find that what works really well is having, whether they're free or low cost, private Facebook groups. So yes, I'm out on the interwebs at large, of course, but a lot of what's happening is happening just inside my private groups. Um, and I'm trying to balance that a little better. I used to be on my public Facebook page much more. And I find that inside my groups, I'm doing lives and doing trainings and doing all these things. And so I'm trying to like show up more um, on my public page as well. But having a private group where you can offer stuff just for people who they are paying attention, Facebook groups, are showing up in the feed more readily than what you're posting other places. So we do notice that that's working for us. And my groups, you guys are part of them. Rich Coach Club, Bear Nation, those are my free groups. And we devote time and resources to those because we know that when we invite people into our garden and take care of them, flowers bloom. I'm ridiculous with the gardening stuff, but. Sandy says, my swirl is decorating my new house in Mexico on Pinterest, creating my new program, setting my Facebook group on fire this summer in a good way. And my balcony garden that I call San Balcon makes me feel like I'm already living in the future. I love that. Kellyanne Schaefer says, I'm trying harder with my group. This week I'm running my first challenge and it's been amazing. Which brings up another thing that we see that is working right now. Um, and we have inside in demand, we have a whole training on it, but how to run challenges, mini challenges within your groups. Um, this has worked for me for a while, which is why you see me do them probably quarterly. Um, one that I have always loved doing is Miracle Week. I have another one called Ask for Everything that's pretty successful, and we've run different variations of those. Um, but what challenges do? is it gets people engaging with you it gets them into action and once participants get into action then they start feeling like wow you know things are changing and shifting for me so maybe i should hire this person so if you are thinking of something to do to build your audience build your list and engage with your audience, that audience then you're, that you're building, we do recommend that. Um, let's see, Anna says, I've got 6,600 people in the group, need to work on being more visible in there. Yeah, and we've got some suggestions too, like if, if let's say you guys have groups that you started that you haven't, um, that you let get cold or stale in some way, um, there are, there are things you can do to re-engage them and boost them and reinvigorate them that have worked has worked for us. So even if you, oh, she says I'm active all the time, but you need more lives. Okay. Yeah. And I would recommend trying a variety of things. So what we noticed is that just posting prompts only gets you so far. And so we like to run free trainings, mini challenges inside there to you know, to really get people paying attention and participating and to help them, to serve them, to get them to start doing the things that um, are gonna help them. 
Stacy says, I've done two summit interviews. I had stopped doing them, but these two worked and I got a lot of opt-ins. Yeah. So in Rich Coach Club, um, especially during the pandemic, you may have noticed that whenever one of my clients had a pandemic success story, and I keep talking about it like, like it's past tense, pandemic is still happening. Let us not forget to still wear masks and social distance accordingly. <laughs> um, but uh, like uh, I had Brenda Lamelli on there and um, McKenna Held, and there were a couple other clients that I interviewed just to talk about what was working for them. You know, what, what were they doing that was helping them thrive during the pandemic. And so whatever the theme is of your group, just be looking for opportunities to do, right? And these were just 20 minute interviews, but be looking for ways to pop in there and offer them some solutions to their problem. Um, Michelle says, I'm working my Instagram with live movement videos, inspirational pics, et cetera. I need to work on Facebook groups more. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we could we could have a whole discussion about different things we're trying on Instagram, on YouTube, on, you know, we're trying a bunch of different things and we'll report back. But the other thing that I wanted to mention that we're noticing is working well right now is whatever your usual is. So if your usual is super high end, offer something that has extended payment plans. Um, or offer something that's at a lower price point to help people get into your world and then upgrade. And conversely, if usually what you're charging is moderate or lower price things, how about trotting out a VIP offer? Um, what we noticed during the pandemic was that my audience was purchasing a lot of my highest price stuff. And I'm like, I'm out here trying to sell y'all a $500 summer of yes. Okay. <laughs> so it's just interesting to observe what your particular audience is responding to. And what a lot of my clients are noticing is mixing it up a little bit is what's working. So if they're used to a certain price point from you, shock them with something else. And then no matter what the price point, payment plans are really appreciated right now. Um, so typically in the past, I was only offering at max a six pay on something. And now we're going up to a 12 pay on something and it's really working. People are really appreciating that option. So I want to invite you to think about that as well. Think about what you're offering, the price of what you're offering, and the number of payments that you could offer to someone that might tip them. Um, Yes. So Sandy says you are extending the payment plan until after the program is over. And the answer to that is yes, which is something I never, ever did before. But I think that it's needed right now. And I think that people are, I'm noticing that people are really responding to it. So we're super happy about that. Um, I also think um, what's working right now is something that I always say, which is show, don't tell your audience. So if you're gonna talk about it, be about it. And I think that people are responding to leadership. This, is, this has been a really um, unsettling first and second quarter for people. And so people spend money with people they feel safe with. And I had a, a real, um, heart to heart with a business owner who is very successful, but her clients weren't feeling safe because she wouldn't articulate where she stood on certain issues. And I've been saying it for a long, long time. We were taught not to talk about politics and I highly disagree with that. Um, particularly in business, like don't talk about, it. and I'm like, you know what? It is my opinion that my clients feel safe, whether they agree with me or not, they feel safe when, with someone who what you see is what you get and who 
puts her money where her mouth is. And so I just want to challenge you all when you're showing up online, I'm not saying that you have to all of a sudden become, you know, 24 seven social justice topics. I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying I want to challenge you to think about how can I show up as a leader and what does that mean in my business if I'm showing up as a leader? And I think people give money to people who are unapologetically them. I always use Cardi B as an example of this. Whether you like Cardi B and what she sings and says and stands for or not, she is highly successful because she is who she is. Um, right, if somebody doesn't like it, they can, they can get out my garden, which we've had. We've had exits from the garden and it's all right because right, like all the people who, <laughs> who like the garden show up. Um, okay, so I wanna take a few minutes to answer questions. And while you're formulating your questions, feel free to put it in the chat. I have so much more to say on all this, but I definitely wanna spend a minute talking to you about some big changes that are happening. Um, with one of my programs called On The Six. So for those of you who are on the Sixers here now, I think you're gonna be delighted um, if you're considering signing up again to hear some of the upgrades that we've made to the program. And if you're watching this and you are looking to join a mastermind, I think this might be for you. So On The Six has previously been a six month mastermind and I've enjoyed it that way for a long time. We've decided to change the structure to be 12 months. And so when you join On The Six, you get 12 months of me and my team and I'm gonna go through what that includes. I joke the proof is in the profit. The proof isn't just in the profit, but we have so many coaches making money, I wanna brag about it. Um, I think this number is higher now, but Jessica uh, says on the six voodoo works in five months, she generated just about 90 K and that this was the best decision she ever made. Um, Jackie Gartman, the busiest she's ever been. Jackie is a, a coach veteran. Like she's been in the business two months longer than me. Um, we went through master coach training together and I'm super proud of Jackie. Um, Kimberly, who's here, she had her first launch and it was 20K. That's amazing. Who doesn't want an extra 20K? Caitlin, listen, Caitlin, who talked earlier in the broadcast that she really didn't want to bring some of her workaholic tendencies into this, she has had a group program sell out. She's all about play. She's also, Caitlin, you're about smashing hustle culture as well. So anyway, proud of her. Emily Muirnan, who, um, if you came to the Succeed and Sell series, she did a training for us on how to create a virtual retreat, pivot from live to virtual. And this is somebody whose entire business model was based on live events when COVID hit, and she has had her most profitable time ever. Um, Stacy, Stacy's also one of my bear coaches and she talks about how the, on the six has caused her to step into her identity as a coach and what's possible for her new business. It's go time. Um, oh my gosh. So we should get one of her newest headshots. Um, she just had a beautiful photo shoot yesterday, but Allison said it's been the kickstart to the business that she needed. So she actually helps small businesses. She's an HR professional and she helps small businesses basically not F things up with their staff. So anyway, and the, uh, we got to change the slide. This is not Jackie Gartman. This is Dr. Alessandra. Um, so she's such a joy she's such a joy and she talks about how um she got a national event offering she thought the pandemic might tank her it was a huge opportunity to get creative she's got a new facebook group community 
Um, she's doing all the things. And let's talk about what's included. Feel free to post any questions you have so far in here. Those were just some of the testimonials. We have such great testimonials from this group because it's really working. Um, so you get private quarterly one-on-one -on -one sessions with Patty Rantapa, who's my head coach for my company, and also a 90-minute strategy and planning call with Anna Mika. So Anna is my COO. She is a genius at strategy. If you looked at In Demand, she, we co-created that together. And I actually had a one-on-one -on -one client say to me not too long ago when I was talking about superpowers and original medicine. And she emailed me and she said, I think I know what your superpower is. And I said, okay, what? And she emailed me back, systems. And I died laughing. I said, I'll let Anna Mika know that you're giving me credit for that. I'm like, no, that is not my superpower. But I'm glad Anna makes it look like that is. Um, okay, so it's a 12-month program. You get one-on-one -on -one time with both Anna and Patty. Um, it's an uplifting community. Those of you who are inside On The Six now can attest to that. Please chat us up. Um, there are 12 money generating assignments and challenges. Um, you get 24 live class calls with me. You get 24 live marketing calls with Anna Mika. So whether it's questions about funnels, marketing materials, mini challenge, it doesn't matter. Like she will help you strategize in those sessions. Um, so marketing reviews. You can submit twice a month for the team to review your plans and give you feedback and assistance. And um, weekly tech, marketing automation, you can submit your questions about all that kind of stuff because don't forget, Susan Hyatt, the agency is on your team. You also get Finish Strong, which is our two-day annual event. It's virtual this year. So it's, what it is because of COVID, but we're going to make it extra, extra special. You also get in-demand access, which is our $2,000 digital program. Um, we, people who are in our masterminds already were gifted this. If you join, it's your gift as well. Something that's new is we have hired a diversity and inclusion consultant who is going to help with anti-racist training and resources. So this is um, this is part of our mission is to make sure that all of the entrepreneurs that train under me understand how to create anti-racist and anti-oppressive offers. Um, and so that will all be available to you. Um, I'm sure that you've seen the boxes of goodies that I mail out for my programs, whether it's Summer of Yes or a Mastermind. Um, we will mail some swag to your door. You also get a seat at Alex Franzen. So Alex Franzen, you may not know this, is the head copywriter for Susan Hyatt, Inc. And uh, Susan Hyatt, the agency. And she has co-created a class with us, which is basically like, hey, if you didn't have a website, if you didn't have nothing, how can you sell offers off of emails that convert? So she has helped write some of my most profitable emails and we will teach you how. It's a three-day co-working training with Alex. Um, this is just a beautiful image of, of a lot of the things that you get as part of the training. Can you guys hear teenagers talking in my kitchen? I really want to smash some people right now. I can hear them chatting it up. Hold please. Guys, I'm teaching. There, so. Okay. <laughs> so if you're interested in On the Six this time, it was six months, now it's 12. We've added a lot of extra support um, through Anna, Patty, the agency. Um, you can apply. So you can click on that link. And I think Mallory's probably lighting up the chat about it. 
And when you get there, when you, it's just a type form application so that you can have a call with Patty. Um, and the investment is the same, even though we have expanded the time frame. It's 9997. Go to that link and you can apply. We do have a 12 pay this time. So that is something super fantabulous. So I am going to stop my screen share. Oh, she's got, Elena says real life and giggling because I'm glad I'm not the only one. I mean, no, I didn't even mute. Cause I'm like, let me tell y'all something about these teenagers. Oh, you couldn't hear them. It was just me. I don't know about y'all. I think I'm a highly sensitive person <laughs> because noises drive me bananas. So like if I'm trying to focus and teach, I'm like, I'm up in here on a webinar with a bunch of female business owners and y'all up in my kitchen, shiver jabbering. Um, oh, it drives me crazy. Um, Lynn, I always think about you, first of all, when I put on lip gloss and the chimes you sent me are right outside that door. Um, oh, when does it start? It starts July 21st. Um, and classes are on, let me just show you. Here we go. Here's the actual sales page. Um, and classes are on Tuesdays. We kick off July 21st. Um, and classes are at 12 p.m. Central. So again, you get 24 calls with me. They're live. Um, quarterly calls with your business coach. 24 marketing calls with Anna. I mean, honestly, you could just take me out of the whole thing and just have calls with Anna and it would be worth that investment. Um, 24 co-working live sessions with Patty Rantapa. Um, tickets to Finish Strong, our two-day virtual business retreat, and access to in-demand, our complete digital marketing training program. So it's a lot of stuff. And then you get the bonus, and it's a limited time bonus. Um, if you register by the end of this month, you get access to Alex's training, which I would honestly say is worth the investment too, because honestly, like we were going back through some of the most profitable emails that I've sent that she's written. And it's like, oh my God, like all my retreats that sold out off of an email were because of Alex and because of the photography, for sure. Oh, would you like to come say hi? Sure. Um, say hi to everybody. This is who was jibber jabbering Hello. in the kitchen. She's gotta get Jake out from under my desk to go to the vet. <laughs> Real life. Did you yell at us while you were oh, Yeah, they were all laughing. God. And they were all like, she didn't even mute. So mean. I'm up here trying to help these business women. Get out. Was it Reese? Yeah. Oh, y'all in trouble. Um, okay, yeah, she sure did. Oh, hi, Robert Hartwell. I know, I know. Oh, how large is the group? Uh, so this past time it was 35 people. We're expecting about the same size. And if you're currently in on the six, by the way, you get a special price, um, which Mallory is going to post in your group. You get a discount if you're continuing on. So Robert says you are a vision in yellow. Also, this offer is fierce. Thank you, Robert. When in the, um, in the journal that I showed you all that you're getting, your future self requirements journal, and I said get a squad, Robert is part of my squad, which is amazing. Yes, they did get so much value. Um, I know she has the Hyatt attitude. Nancy says, I always want what Susan is selling. I love that about you, Nancy. I always love having you. Um, in what I offer. So there are some people here who already signed up for On The Six that didn't know about these changes. So surprise, it's no longer six months, it's 12 months, LaTondra. <laughs> um, you get a bunch of extra shit. Um, 
Susie, yes, I am still offering the other one year program called The Mastermind, and that will begin enrolling in October. Um, so we're kind of setting this up a little differently where on the Sixers can graduate to go into the mastermind starting this next January. So um, anyway, yes. So if you're interested, apply and get a call with Patty and she'll kind of break down all the different options for you. But I think it's definitely a smart investment if you, um, how many people will be in here. So no more than 40 is what we're expecting. Um, this past time and on the six, we had 35. And um, yeah, so we're, we're starting again in July um, for this next time. So get your booties in there. And, and um, for those of you who are currently in on the six, go check out the special offer. And it's a big discount offer for you to continue on. And that any, I wanna make sure there aren't any quest, other questions coming in. Yeah, Cora rolling up in here to take the dog to the vet. I have got to get, I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm planning on building a brick and mortar building in Evansville. Now that we have the agency, we thought it would be awesome. You tell me what you think of this, but we thought it would be awesome for agency clients or VIP clients if you wanted to come to us and get, get your pictures taken, get your video done here, like have your strategy planning in person. We wanna have a facility for that with a real video shoot room, photo shoot room, conference room, podcast studios, all that kind of stuff. Um, and I thought I had the perfect lot under contract. And then our engineer, three separate engineers told us that the lot was not buildable. Um, and so I haven't quite found the right spot, but let me tell you, I have always enjoyed working from home and Cora is going back to Portland actually on Wednesday, but I'm like, Working from home has its own set of challenges, y'all. I'm like, I gotta get, I gotta get out of this house. <laughs> I gotta get out of this house. Uh, right, nine ninety seven for the twelve pay. Kellyanne says, "I'm in." Patty just sent me the damn link. Good, Kellyanne. Kellyanne, I was laughing at you. Kelly's like, stop telling Susan all my mental obstacles, girl. She gonna tell me. Go get you um yeah 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 so what other questions corinne i'm so glad you were here and susie if you want to talk to patty about the other mastermind program um yeah patty told on you that's right patty's gonna tell on you patty's the accountability coach what do you think what do you think she's gonna do Everybody thinks I'm bad cop. I'm not bad cop. Um, all right, got to go back to work. You're welcome for the sunshine. I know I'm going to let you guys go. Um, I hope I hope you'll join us for On the Six if it fits your needs. If you're not sure if it fits your needs or not, book a call, find out. And um, next, don't forget, next Thursday, come to my garden party. It's going to be so fun. Um, that's the other thing that always works, you guys, when you are lit up from the inside with fun, that's never out of fashion in the business world because most people in the business world are dry and cranky. Next Thursday, garden party. Also next Thursday, fun shine. That's right, Susie. Also next Thursday, the launch of GoTime TV. I'm pretty jazzed about it. So. I hope you all have a beautiful, beautiful day and week. Um, and um, the current on the six link is posted in the group. And also don't skip out on the future self requirements, okay? It takes a lot of effort to put these resources together. So please use them and let me know what you come up with. All right, bye everybody. Have a beautiful rest of your day.